Hey guys, it's simply being Dan and today we are back with a brand new video. Today we are in Battlefield 4 in 2021. Who thought that I'd be saying that? The game seems to be a sort of revived, relived. Um, and it seems to be doing really well in 2021. The servers are, right, are rather full. Everybody seems to be enjoying the game and it seems to be doing pretty well. I haven't got much unlocked and, uh, and this gameplay isn't the greatest, but... It is a game that I think is absolutely amazing. It still looks beautiful to this day. I would like to apologise for the lack of audio. Um, there's a couple of videos that I batch recorded and the system audio didn't record. Um, so I do apologise for that. But hopefully going forward, I'll be able to sort that out. But now that that's out of the way, I would just like to talk about Battlefield 4. Now with Battlefield 6 having some new comments and new release uh, details, um, I think it's important that we go back in time and we look at sort of the games that we've had over the last couple of years. Um, Battlefield 4 for me being a, an all-time favourite along with Battlefield 3. I think that um, Battlefield 4 is a beautiful game. It looks amazing. And when it came out at the time, it, it was groundbreaking with the evolution that was involved in the game. I just thought it was outstanding. Um you know the the sniping is so satisfying the the guns are more realistic now don't get me wrong i i have got back into playing call of duty but when it comes to um a more realistic but still an arcade like game nothing beats battlefield um battlefield 4 is personally one of my favorites you know the maps are, are pretty clean you know you've got operation locker you know, there's there is some real good ones, and Operation Locker obviously being the one where there was a big standoff for for the mid sea flag. Um, you know, you you can't get battlefield moments without without modern battlefield games. Now, one thing that I would like to say is that I hope that Battlefield uh, Six is a bit more modern. I think they've done well, um, in the times that they've done in the world wars but i think it's time to just sort of make it a bit more fast paced bring in a few more people and um i i personally think um get back into the modern era whether it be a made up war or a war that has happened i just think that it it would be beneficial for them to to look into a, a modern war uh modern warfare type of of scene now with battlefield 4 as well you know you've got your different classes that everybody knows about um, the gameplay here is is not you know I am you know I'm a novice player I, I just enjoy playing um, I just get caught up in the immersion of the game because I just think it's so beautiful but it is still fun to play Battlefield 4 uh, you know I didn't have a bad experience on any of the servers that I was playing on it still runs smooth there's you know people have got different hurts uh, playing uh, on the uh, on the servers. There is some lower ones, there's some higher ones, but you know, there's noob friendly ones, there's ones that are hardcore, ones that have got map rotation, ones that are 24 hour. So Battlefield 4, you know, it's got some it has got some some good potential to carry on being played. It is extremely fun, I think, still. And uh, I would love to play with a group of friends on this because it does bring back some good moments. I think in 2021 it, it's sort of a breath of fresh air as well to go back to a game like this that still plays well you know we've got the cod and the closest thing that we've got to a, a map this size is warzone but at the end of the day as as mentioned in other videos there's a there's a, a bit of a hacking scandal slash issue going on um that is never going to be completely rectified um but also um it is nice to get a game that that is like this, especially when um, the late, you know, the newest battlefield that we've had out is a is a World War game, uh, whether it be World War One or two. I think it was. It is just nice to have a game to go back to that is a bit more of a modern era, um, because you know naturally you take out the pace when you go back to the to that type of era of game. You take out the pace. Um, well, you know, it isn't a bad thing, but it takes out the pace of the game, uh, you know, bolt action and only a few assault rifles, or it then means that everybody goes for a certain type of gun because it, it outweighs the others. And I think there's a good balance of guns in Battlefield 4 as well. 
And um, I think overall, you know, back in the day, even though that it had a bad launch or a rocky launch, it, it, it it's lived up to its name and it's done brilliantly since then. Um, and, you know, it, it still plays amazingly now. Um, the guns that are still there are amazing. You know, there's more Easter eggs um that are being covered by people jack frags is a is a big uh a big one on that so test that one out um go over to his channel and look at some of the easter eggs that he's doing guys because it, it is pretty mad about what what he's still doing in the battlefield community on some of these maps finding out the easter eggs now i'd like to speak a little bit about battlefield 6 um i hope that it is something like battlefield 4 i know that i mentioned that earlier i hope that it's Something a little bit similar to Battlefield 4 um, and Battlefield 3, you know, something that's a bit more modern. I think that it would also be fun to have um, a game that is a bit more live service, a bit like Warzone. You know, they make a game that is supported for like two years and they bring out new maps and stuff and make lifetime events. I think that would be a good option for Battlefield to go down um battlefield 6 i also think it would be beneficial for them to make sure that launch is as good as what they can get um without it being unstable um you know that is the one thing that has let battlefields down is that on day one even though that there is always always going to be day one bugs that day one hasn't always been the easiest ride for battlefield players now, i think it's important that when day one comes that there is as least amount of bugs as possible that is going to make this game play extremely well um i also hope that it appeals to a bigger demographic because of the way that it plays um you know and one thing that i'd like to mention is that in some of their press releases they've mentioned that um it's going to be on a, a scale that's never been presented before it means it's something that we've never seen um, so is it going to be 150, 200 people all at the same time? Uh, you know, like a war zone is 150, but it, you know, you're not got 150 for a long period of time. Um, and apparently they're going to be taking full advantage of the new consoles, what is obviously going to be a given um, because that's what always happens when a new game comes out and I do it with a new gen. They always, they always are going to take the advantage. Um, what hopefully then means that we can maybe go back to a bad company two aspect where uh, you, pretty much everything in the game is destroyable because you know that does make it fun. Um, but also, I think it would be important to also have that balance of of some stuff that can't be broken. You know, it's that thing of yes and no in some cases. Um, but, you know, Battlefield 6, I think, as long as it has a good day one release and and does well, um, keeps up with updates and patches well, and is something that we've never seen before, you know, as long as it is a, you know, the many, the most players that we've ever seen and they keep to their promises, I don't see why it can't be a really successful game. Um, I think that they're doing well. The hype has started now with Battlefield 6. The hype has definitely started and the hype is, is definitely getting a bit more real. Uh, you know, Dice LA are now been working on the game for a couple of months, last years. Uh, they've had people come off of Need for Speed to work on the game. Uh, Need for Speed is being delayed, so it sort of sounds like all hands on deck at the minute at Dice and Dice LA and all the other EA. Uh, what do I want to say? Gaming developing areas seem to be working on battlefield so hopefully that should then lead to a bit more of a, a better a better game and something that's going to be substantial for when day one comes i think for me as well battlefield was the game for me that changed the way that i see first person shooters you know i was very much a cod fanboy before and then when i realized what battlefield can do yes it was a little bit more realistic and there was a bit of a, a learning curve i do think that um it was uh, beneficial to um, to have this game to sort of compete with Call of Duty because, you know, Call of Duty's had its issues. Um, 
and without having a game to challenge you, you're always going to have the mystery. So I think Battlefield has been good um, for the gaming community as a whole and also has been has been fun to play over the years. Um, Battlefield is also, you know, it brought so many funny moments, you know, sh- you know, there's only so many games that you can shoot a, a pilot out of a helicopter and you can RPG things, you know, you get them Battlefield moments. Um, what is what is fun and is really enjoyable um and i just hope that they they don't make it where it's like pay to win or you've got money transactions i just hope that they sort of go no we're not doing that we're going to do it properly um and as you can see in this video uh, i'm so used to playing warzone where like i'm literally spraying and just hoping that i'm getting gonna get the kills um well, we're coming towards the end of this video, guys. So I've hoped that you sort of enjoyed my Battlefield ramble, talking about Battlefield 6, talking about some bits of Call of Duty and talking about what I hope to happen in the near future with uh, the Battlefield franchise. So it's been your boy, Simply Being Dan. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. If you've liked the video, like. If you haven't, disliked. And at the end of the day, don't stress about too much. It's been your boy, Simply Being Dan. Peace.